Hello, I'm about to take the new Liam Gallagher album for a run. It's called, what's it called? Come on, you know. Um, I've never listened to a solo Liam Gallagher album, but it's a big week for him. He could possibly top the charts and he's got his two big gigs in Nebworth coming up. So I figured let's see what's about. Let's take it for a run. And the watch is on, the music's on and we're off. Come on, let's go, 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 go. It opens with a floating head, children's choir, singing they wish they had more power, while an acoustic guitar gradually gets into motion, like a very full salad spinner. Liam Gallagher's voice, it comes in with a soft slipper drum beat. His voice has enough reverb to catch all the colors from the stained glass windows, like a Velcro glove in a world of infinite fluffy tennis balls. It feels like power and anger have met they match when face to face with destiny fate is the padded oven glove that takes all the heat away he's asking is this what you came for i had no idea i was gonna get an enlightened liam gallagher but this is quenching me it feels so good oh <laughs> i absolutely love that groove it's dripping in glitchy octaves. This song has got such a great late night feel to it that everything could be played by an owl's wings as it hoots its way across a forest at midnight. Come on, get up these fucking steps. Go on, go on, let's go, let's go. Oh, uh, uh, lactic, lactic. There's a line there about a tiger floating on the ark. Again, we have a reference to strength and aggression kind of being soothed by a higher power. <laughs> this is so surprising. It feels like Liam is shaken free from something that troubled him in his past. Like a Britpop Maui, you're welcome. Don't go halfway continues this uplifting and triumphant feel. <laughs> this is so good to run to. That line, please don't say no to your new phase. It's soft. It's philosophical. It's something I did not expect as soon as I pressed play on his album. Look how fast these legs are going today. Oh my God. There's some mad effects on his vocals and it really works. <coughs> I'm used to swallowing flies around here, but I swear I just swallowed a blackbird. Come on, you know, has a pounding kind of chord progression, which I think he's used before, but lines like I'm sick of acting like I'm tough. Come and give me a hug. They elevate this to a whole new surprising level. His voice is floating high above the music, whereas in the past, I think he would have got down and dirty with it. He would have been happy to be the thorns. This time, it feels like he's the flower. The final two minutes of this song, it's like a religious experience. I can see the sun rising. I can smell fresh fruit. I can dress myself in a cloak of fog and say hello to the magpies. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Swirling synthesizers, saxophones, sweet vocal harmonies. This is like driving an electric car backwards across the moon while listening to spiritualized. Too good for giving up. Feels like a George Harrison song if he'd been James Bond instead of a Beatle. It's really fucking good. Oh my God, I'm going fast, I'm going fast. Ah, oh, I got one hell of a stitch. I'm blown away by how spiritual this album is. It feels like it's full of hard evidence that people can actually change. It gives you the confidence to change yourself. He's talking about, hang on top of here. He's talking about a universe that heals a disconnect from God. It's like the Bhagavad Gita. If Krishna was the leader of a gang in the film Warriors. One of the things I'm truly loving about this is that it doesn't sound like a man sitting down working really hard on an acoustic guitar, staring at his capo like it's the portal into another dimension. No, it feels collaborative. It feels like just a real pure experience. I absolutely love it. Everything's electric shows that ah, stinging nettles again. Everything electric shows that you can be as zen as you want, but there's always room for a scrap if you keep it philosophical. That line right there, the higher that we go, the longer we can fly. Reminds me of a line from the K Tempest album, more distance, more reach. <laughs> it's got that kind of similar quality to it. It's really about change and having the confidence to change, but knowing you have to go somewhere uncomfortable first to be the best version of yourself. 
It's a remarkable running album, it's so good! Great vibes! I'm light on my feet! I will never understand rock and roll's fascination with a hold down harmonica and vintage boot smelling track, but when it has a thunderous synth bass line behind it like this, all is forgiven! On the song Moscow Rules, the past comes back to haunt him in the form of paranoia. This is a fun, Willy Wonka sized chunk of pop. It's like John Le Carre doing a prog rock album. Yes, that paranoia is blasted away by the direct aggression of I'm Free. Liam Gallagher sounds like his old self here, but in a healthy broccoli breakfast kind of way. Let's see how fast we can run to this song. Come on, let's go through all the gears. Let's go. Oh, how long have we been running for? A long time. The album is doing this really amazing thing where it's full of confidence, but at the same time it's humble. There's clues in the lyrics. It's being aware that a lot of what's around you is an illusion. I think once you really know that, you, I don't know, you have no choice but to be humble. How humbling is it to know that all this might not be real? Better Days has this amazing kaleidoscopic psychedelic drumming and there's something about it that reminds me of Bentley Rhythm Ace in a way. It's fun, it's uplifting. That's what this whole album's about so far. I just knew there was gonna be a backwards guitar solo on there at some point. Ah, oh, that lead guitar on Oh Sweet Children is ah, oh, it's delicious. Oh, I wanna eat it. It feels like strawberry laces. I am done. Oh. That was a good run, that's such a good album. He finishes, or towards the end there, he says, I can only offer you my love. And there is so much love in our record. Like, what? what's going on? That is not what I was expecting from a Liam Gallagher album. It makes me feel a bit silly if you're not listening to a solo album before, but I thoroughly enjoyed that. I loved that. And kind of like one of the most telling things about it is that it's inspiring. It's inspiring. It's like listening to it as an artist or a creative person, a songwriter, it makes you want to pick up the guitar and do something. It's, that is like some skill to have that. This far into your career. It's uplifting, it's positive, it tells you you can change. What more do you want from a work of art? Right, I'm a running punk, you should be running punk too. I love that. Thank you very much, Liam Gallagher. Good luck at Nebworth, like you're ever going to see this. Anyway, love you, bye.